guys, it's Dia and welcome back. So, um, today we're going to give you a tour of Mimikanda. So, before you watch this video, could you please like this video and subscribe and share? Yes, so Mimikanda is a my is a mind blowing place. You can enjoy the wind and high waves from here. It is a clean and very well maintained place. The rock is separated by the mainland by the sea and can get be reached by a, a ferry service. The entry fee is fifty rupees, which is a dollar for Australian dollars and for um the express entry is 200 rupees, which is four dollars more Australian dollars. dollars. So you can enjoy the colours of the water varies in three seas being place. Kanda Rock is the most popular tourist attraction in Kanyakumari. Memorial stands on one of two rocks located about 500 meters of mainland. On another rock now, there is a statue of a main famous philosopher, Tiruvallu. is located in a ideal unique place where the Indian Ocean, Aryan Sea and Bay of Bengal are meeting. In short, a truly spiritual and mesmerizing experience and it's you are in the southernmost end of the country. Beautiful place and is in the middle of the sea. One may one plan to see here is early morning or late evening. Afternoon is the best time to visit this place. In Beaver Canada it was built in 1970 and took six years to build. Um, the visiting time to visit Canada is 7 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. daily. So to reach there, you can get by a bus in South Indian cities and by rail with seven Indian cities, while the nearest airport is Trivaveli. So guys, now we're in a boat and see there, that's we become the, the rock. Do you like it? Garuda Rock Bamboo is a popular tourist place in Kanyakumari, India. It was built in 1970 in honor of Swami Vivekananda. He is said to have attained alignment on the rock. According to local legends, it was on this rock that the goddess Mari performed. You have to climb stairs and reach a mud park. There is a small pool for people who want to meditate on the rock. There are bookstores book where they sell literary and other items related to Swami Vivekananda's teachings. If you are in Kane Kumari, then it is a place that you must visit. Guys, you can be from down there to see the ocean and waves. And the people do always. 
always say the waves are multicolored. Also, um, be at the top and come here to see the view like us. We chose here because you could see more clearly of the waves and it is also windy over here. So you can feel more relaxed and comfortable here. Swami Vivekananda Rock Memorial is a very interesting place you should go at least once in a lifetime. If you want to know how to get to Vivekananda Rock Memorial is you can go in an airport and the nearest airport is at Fremont Van and located at 67 kilometers from the memorial. One can avail ferry service from Kanekuma to reach Vivekananda Rock Memorial as well. The ferry ser service is available from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. In January of 1962, Viva Garden the Rock Memorial was deemed that a memorial dedicated to Swami must be constructed to commit his birth cemetery. And that rock wraps it up for all for today. I hope you did enjoy today's video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our other videos. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.